Hello students, welcome back. So this question was asked in one of the exams and the question was that 40 year old female has flaccid blisters over skin and oral erosion. So buccal mucosa is also involved. On histopathology, intraepidermal blisters were seen with acantholytic cells. What is the most probable diagnosis? So obviously the answer here is not bullous pemphigoid. Why? Because bullous pemphigoid is subepidermal, while here this is intraepidermal. Okay, erythema multi multiforme, if you might be knowing, the characteristic target lesions are seen, and these are not target lesions. And dermatitis herpetiformis occurs where over extensors okay so probably this is a case of pemphigus vulgaris and yes why this is a case of pemphigus vulgaris because in pemphigus vulgaris buccal mucosa is involved this is intraepidermal lesion and in this condition very flaccid blisters are seen so here you can see very superficial blasted intraepidermal blisters are seen so these are those blisters and many a times these blisters rupture to form erosions so erosions might also be present so here you can see closely the lesions of pemphigus here very flaccid blisters are seen and there is a one very important sign which you can elicit in these patient and that is known as nikolsky sign and if you do histology or if you prepare zinc smear on zinc smear acantholytic keratinocytes are seen so these acantholytic keratinocytes are seen so if you find acantholytes or acantholytic keratinocytes on zinc smear on zinc smear then it is suggestive of yes pemphigus So thank you very much, do subscribe to my YouTube channel for many such videos.